Hey guys, he wants blood here, and today I'm doing something I don't normally do. So forgive the quality of the video because I never do anything like this. I just started playing, so I wanted to go over my favorite archetype so far, some thoughts, and what I run. So first off, we're going to be starting off with three balone. Um, balone gives piercing to your link three scareclaw monster. So it's, it's pretty good. These ratios are subject to change. This is my first draft, by the way. So we have three Astra. So as I play some games, I'm going to change various cards around, and I'm going to show you why or what I'm doing. Uh, three Acro, which it, again, powers up. Every card you play is to power up your Link 3 Scareclaw Monster. And that's pretty much all the deck is around. As you can see, I have in the camera already <laughs> we have three uh tr scare claw right heart now he is a very important card because he gives you a plus you know you can draw and search so he's very important in the deck um we have one visa star frost um i'll show you a combo with him later but i think he's pretty important in the deck i just play one of him i think that's enough because I don't have any synchros I can go into, so I don't want to spam him and not have anything good. Now the controversial or the card I want to try out in this deck, and I will remove if it doesn't work, is Four, Mo uh, four Mud Skipper. Now if he can search for Parallel Exceed if you link something with him. He's better if you have Cross Out Designator and a bunch of things to protect him. But as it stands right now, I don't have Cross Out Designator. Um, I can't, um, I honestly can't have just afford buying three copies of it, but if you can run cross out designator, I think adding four mode into your, um, deck is really good. I'm trying them out without the protection, so I'll probably have to remove him for another combo. I'm going to discuss later in the video. Now, um, the thing about, uh, four mode is if you can reveal try hard, and then link summon into your link one. I think this is a legal play. Since I just started, I don't want to say it is. However, if it is and it works the way I think it does, you'll be able to search parallel exceed as well as the field spell for Scareclaw monsters or the archetype. Now, remember, I just started playing, so the rules are a little foggy, but I'll be playing more and learning. Now, this three um rescue cat i think rescue cat is good in any beast oriented deck you know i've played a lot of simulators and um like master duel so i haven't played the actual tcg that's why some of the rulings is are a little you know as i play i'll learn but three rescue cat is another volatile card in the deck just like four mode whereas if you use your normal summon you try to use their effect and they hand trap you you pretty much pass turn and I don't want that in my deck, so I want to find a way around that. So the cards that will probably get changed is Four Mode, Skipper, and uh, Rescue Cat down the line. But we're going to continue on. We have three Parallel X Seeds here. Um, it's easy to summon this with Four Mode or if you draw one. And with the combo I run, just two exceeds or just two other monsters will get you into an easy Appaloosa, which I never see anyone talk about when you talk about Scareclaw. It's how easy with this engine right here, this Codebreaker engine, how easy it is to go into an Appaloosa for your Scareclaw deck. I almost see, I don't see a lot of Scareclaw decks play testing and showing ending on an Appaloosa board. And I think if you're going first, this you need Appaloosa. You need some kind of negate. I mean, you can say you can run um, with two cards. You can make this. You can say you can run Baron, but I, I, I don't. Baron is a hundred dollar card. Let's let's be real. So it's easier to get your hands on Appaloosa. And with this engine, you'd be able to make Appaloosa with three to four negates, depending on how you play your hand. And I never see anyone talk about this engine. Now, this is my hand trap lineup, which you can change to your liking or what you have or that suits your meta. I'm just running what I have because, again, I just started playing the game and I don't have a lot of hand traps. So I'm going to run what I have. I run a very low count 
of hand traps, but I run some. Now we have two effect veiler. Um, again, the hand traps are subject to change. If you could put ash in, I would recommend ashing. We have one scare call splash, which is your omni negate for the archetype, which could be searched with uh, Rikar. Now, three infinite and permanents. This is the one card uh, hand trap that I think is fine in a deck, especially if you go in second. This is a very heavy going second deck. Um, I'm just making it possible to go first with this build. Now, three straddle. I think this card is amazing because it's a uh, is a negate. It's a OTK enabler. Um, it's basically everything you need for first or second plays. We have three Scareclaw Arrival, which is the in archetype Monster Reborn and is not once per turn. So this really helps you get into your plays, including your Appaloosa or whatever you need for that turn. Now, we're gonna two field spells. The reason I play two field spells is because they're easily searchable because of your link one. So you don't need to run terraforming or three copies. You can look for one of your two copies quite easily right now. And I think this archetype has potential. Uh, one, um, one call by the grave. I was going to call it Scareclaw, call by the grave, but I wish. But yeah, one call by the grave because it's a strong card. There's only one of. You should run it. We're getting into the extra deck monsters now, which is three Scareclaw Tryhard. The number can change. I'm honestly think I'm being a little greedy with the number here, but I feel as though once they realize you're running Scareclaw, they're going to try really hard to kaiju or something a monster away, so playing the third copy is relevant. Um, two Scareclaw Lightheart, which is um, Lightheart, whatever, Link 1, he searches for his field spell, and he's a combo enabler because uh, he works with Vista Star Frost to get you two on the board. Of course, your Appaloosa for your first turn plays. I think uh, that's a lot easier for people to get. Now, this is my Code Breaker engine, which I discussed earlier, which gets you into an easy Appaloosa. All you need is two things on field. And no one talks about this. Scareclaw, the Link 3, has three arrows down. Any Link 3 with three arrows down can make an easy Appaloosa first turn with the code breaker engine and i never see anyone discuss that when i when i look around you know because i, I want to play scareclaw and i'm a noob so i'm looking at stuff and no one's mentioning that uh one ip mascarena so you can link summon on their turn we have one griffin which griffin is good because if you have your tryhard on the board this links into it and now suddenly they you have a skill drain with legs on the board and there's nothing they can really do about it they have to out the griffin plus the griffin lets you look for a straddle or a splash you already used and set it onto your field so that's pretty good too a uh, unicorn to spin because some cards have protection or like mirror jade you don't want to really remove it you want to bounce it so you can avoid your field getting uh, splattered but link spider is important because we run headfirst into Nibiru with this deck. This deck is like, hey, nip me. But with that, if you did the four mode um, skill line or the play line, you can actually just use Exceed with both these cards and you can still get a try hard out even if you um, got Nibiru. So here we play one Farajit. I play it just for an extender to special summon Rescue Cat, so I'm gonna use my normal summon or Rescue Cat and see if that helps out a bit. Remember, this is my first draft, so the deck will change. This is my favorite tech pick, which is Track by, uh, Black, which basically you target a creature this uh, is linked to, which is your tryhard right here. And every time you destroy a creature, you draw a card. And remember, your tryhard can attack a number of times according to the scare claw monsters on the board uh, because one of them give it that effect. So you can draw like, um, up to anywhere from one to four cards per turn so if you use most of your hand for your combo this is a way to replenish your hand on the second turn or if you're going second etc right here in this instance if you have all four out 
you use that ability you draw four cards if your opponent has four monsters on the board so that'll give you more um hand traps and everything you need so another bit of tech i never see anybody talk about is you know tryhard's ability is summon a scareclaw from the graveyard and then grab one from the deck and you can only special summon this turn um scareclaw monsters this turn remember it says special summon so on your following turn it, let's let's say you play three airborne assault tri brigade airborne assault you target the right card right you can either summon the apex avian or with every turn you're getting a free tribute fodder for your apex avian just by scareclaw because remember it says special summon but you're using them to if you haven't normal summon this turn you're using them to pitch to normal summon so every turn you can potentially have an apex avian negate on the board which um is something i'm thinking about squeezing into the deck now i want to go ahead and show you some test hands so what we're going to do here is we're going to act as though we drew into four mode and he's going to be our first card and already this hand i can already play everything i need to play this this hand right here alone ends in an appaloosa and try heart on board so first we're going to reveal the try heart again i think this is how it goes the deck will change if this is not the ruling but you link it away and you link the light heart now the light, because of the four mode we linked with it we get to look for exceed and the field spell so it could be chain one chain two whichever one you think is more important it could be your, ch uh, your chain two but you search for these two pieces we're going to act as though we're not being interrupted just so i can show you the combo lines and again uh, a lot of these combos will be strengthened if you have cross out designator and the cards needed um, however i don't own those cards i have a call by the grave to make this work just so happened this uh this round though so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the field spell and we're gonna search for the next combo enabler that i was discussing and when i look at my board i see that i'm fine without visa star frost so i'm not gonna go through that line instead i'm gonna grab my uh right heart because you know i could i could get visas pop uh, my link one to summon it then summon my link one back with the link one's ability but i think with my hand looking at it i have everything i need so i don't need to go down that combo line now because of scareclaw's ability you can summon adjacent now you want the try hard three arrows down empty so keep that in mind when you're doing your play if you know you're going to lead into your appaloosa play to leave the three arrows empty when you're when you're summoning now there's three um monsters in defense so we get to search for a card which i'm gonna search for splash is the omni negate in the in the archetype and i'm gonna shuffle and since i have three defense monsters which is anywhere including the uh the opponents you get to draw a card so you just went plus because of that card you searched went plus it's great now you're going to summon the closest three to the area you're about to summon you want these spaces empty remember for the combo you always need that empty and we're going to go ahead and summon try hard now we have those three empty we have one on board remember the x seed in our hand from we search for four mode and we'll be able to special summon another one now in this line, if you get Nibirud by the time you try hard, then you just link Spider into Exceeds and you still end on try hard. So you're absolutely fine at this place. So you use the two to summon the Virus Swordsman, I believe that's what it's called. And then you're gonna link for, you're gonna uh, look for Code Breaker Zero Day from your deck and special summon it onto the board. I'm sorry, I'm still looking through the deck. <laughs> okay, so we have our zero day, and now we take zero day and virus swordsman. And we're gonna remember it's also summons to defense because of their ability. And it also minuses a thousand, so be careful. So you're gonna pitch these two, and now you're gonna summon your codebreaker virus berserker. 
Now your Berserker ability and you're going to special summon both. Remember the minus a thousand because of zero day. So just be careful with that. And now what we can do here, we can have an Appaloosa with three negates or four negates depending on what we want to do here because there's four creatures on board so now we can make an apple with three to four negates depending on how we choose right here so i think i'm going to go with uh four negates apple yeah i'm gonna go with four negates apple and uh, make sure i put on the lower left for later because uh, the second turn is our track black, uh, black track, whatever play. So now we have um, four negates if we want and a splash. Now I'm gonna shuffle and draw a completely random hand to see how the deck plays. Because again, in that situation, I drew the four mode or I placed it into my hand to go ahead and play. So. It was a guaranteed combo, but you can see the power of four mode and if you can protect it in this deck. So right here, already a rescue cat, which is like the perfect turn one, another rescue cat, okay? And a ghost ogre. Okay, so right here, we already have combo. Like it's just which direction we wanna go. We have one scareclaw and an arrive on hand. That's two guaranteed creatures. Um, for the Appaloosa combo to end on it. But we're gonna go with the Rescue Cat line. Now, again, this is very volatile. Like if you get hand trapped here, you're completely screwed. But I just wanna show the combo line if Rescue Cat goes through. Now we're gonna summon the other two Scareclaw monsters we do not have in hand. And that's Acra and Balloon. We wanna get them into Graveyard for our uh, Try Hearts ability. We're going to link one away for our link one, our link one, we'll now search. And it, it, this is why the link one was so important to the deck, it, it gave it a level of consistency. Because looking for this field spell, the field spell is an out to Mystic Mind, which I, I've been watching videos of, of uh, decks that win tournaments and stuff like that. Mystic Mind is like played in a lot. I might not play, but I... I I'm like a student of the game, okay? I watch deck profiles, I see what people are playing, I see why they're playing it, and I kinda try to formulate my deck around it, if I can, to counter. So that field spell itself is a counter to back row and mystic mine, and whatever other creature is hard to remove. Um, so right here we do the Vistas combo, we pop it, and with this ability we summon it back. Now we have three creatures on board, four cards in hand still. And we have three creatures on board easily. I special summon next to the light heart. And we're going to link away the three. Because remember, we want those three arrows empty underneath the try heart at all times. So we summon our try heart. And from here already, this is always off to the side. I can unrival. summon balloon and then with these two cards i can go into my code breaker engine all over again and you can see how how often i can pull this combo off it's, it's pretty consistent um again the only thing i'm afraid of is the rescue cat of four mode being negated and then my turn ending so I'm probably going to run three uh, Triborn Airborne Assault, or Tri Brigade Airborne Assault, and one Apex Avian instead of four mode until I can get my cross out designator. Now you always want to put your Abaloosa bottom left. Um, the reason is for a track black or black track. You don't want it to interfere. You can actually use the Abaloosa if it's empty to link into track black, but now we're going to use Scareclaw, Try Hearts Ability, summon an Astra from the graveyard. We haven't summoned Reinhardt this turn on purpose so that we can end with it and find another negate for our board. So now we special summon it because it hasn't been special summoned. We special summon next to the Scareclaw and now we're searching the deck for our Splash. So again, 
pretty easily ended on a 3 negate Appaloosa and an Omni negate Sclash and enough follow up for ne uh, next turn. We also have a Hand Trap and Ghost, uh, Ghost Ogre. We have an extra Rescue Cat which doesn't really mean much but uh, well this is pretty much consistent. Remember the Apex Avian every turn free negate if you want to run that every turn a free negate with airborne assault and avian so it's probably what i'm going to squeeze in but this is what i wanted to say about the deck and talk a little bit about things i notice people don't talk about and things i want to try out as always guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys soon